Hello YouTube, my name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. In this video I'm going to share you my, um, my experience with CM ASIO. It was uh, developed by Brian, I believe his call was W4WMT. And it's already implemented within the latest version of Thetis. And I got it working, so it works wonderful. However, for some reason, it does not uh, enable my pure signal to work properly. It just has the green light, the green bars, and it's not correcting. So what I found out, uh, I don't really need the ASIO drivers uh, for this process so that I could free up a VAC1 and... Um, I'm just going to revert back to the original uh, protocol 2 with the latest Thetis on my um, Anon 7000 Daily Mark 3. Um, I also did a test with the Anon 200D. I have both radios here at this station and the same similar problems. Uh, I got an ASIO, CM ASIO to work and however the pure signal didn't work so uh, this short video um, I basically reverted back to protocol one and then after I did that I'm just going to show you that it works back to the original uh, protocol one on both the NOT 200 and the 7000 DLE Mark III and then I and I programmed it back to the protocol 2 the latest version so uh, here's my video okay so this is what happened I'm I'm using the Anon 200 D right now and the protocol that I'm using is protocol 2 so pure signal was working initially and then when I did the CM audio and then try to do the pure signal, then it wouldn't work anymore. So what I had to, to do to correct it was I had to revert back to protocol one on the Anon 200D and then um, reload it back to protocol two and it seems to be working now. So here's the test. One two three three two one. One two three three two one. So you saw it was correcting, right? This is the protocol two uh, of the Anon two hundred D. So I'm going to do the same thing for the seven thousand. I'm going to bring it to protocol one. Reload protocol one and then reload protocol 2 back again and this is the latest thetis that i'm using 2.10.3.5 uniform one now i'm on the 7000 dle mark 3 i'm going to start thetis this is the latest thetis again I need to change the radio to say um, 7000 DLE. Okay. And you see it here. We're now back to protocol one. And using the latest firmware, or correction, the latest Thetis. And the amplifier, I don't think I need it. But uh, we had it on standby. Okay, so I'm going to tune. It's a good tune. And here's the test for pure signal. It's on. Test one, two, three, three, two, one. Pure signal's working. There's a two tone test. Looking good. It's working. It's uh, you have a feedback. 
Alright, so that's protocol one. I'm gonna revert back to protocol two and we will see if pure signal will be working again. Now I loaded protocol two on the 7000 daily mark three. So let's start up Thetis. Okay, we are 7,000 DLE. This is the latest Thetis. Again, I just want to show you that. Here we are. Uh, protocol 2. And pure signal is engaged. And tuned up. And let's try the pure signal. 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Pure signal seems to be working now. It's uh, correcting. 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Testing. 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. And pure signal is now corrected. And with the amplifier on. One, two, three, three, two, one. It's correcting there. One, two, three, three, two, one. Okay, now it's corrected. I don't like to see that. I just like to lower that there. One, two, three, three, two, one. Pure signal seems to be working. It's correcting. Okay, so uh, there is some feedback, so it seems to be working. And uh, I'm just going to leave it like this. So my take on this, when I operated the CM ASIO drivers, for some reason, it affected pure signals operation. So I'm not going to use the um, CM ASIO driver. I'm going to use uh, either MME so I can record the audio and OBS. Or go to ASIO drivers, the focus right, and um, let me look at this the um, buffer size. I'm going to change it to 128. Let's save it. This is my 4K. Okay, protocol two. Now you're not going to hear any kind of audio because now I'm using ASIO, but we're going to take a look at uh, the ASIO with pure signal. One, two, three, three, two, one. Testing, one, two, three. There you go. Now we have feedback with the latest Thetis and using protocol two. Well, folks, uh, that's it. I just wanted to show you um, if you don't want to use CM ASIO, you can actually reprogram your radios back to protocol one, reflash protocol two back onto the radio, and then at that point, don't uh, engage CM ASIO drivers, just leave it as is. So, thank you for watching 73s. Until next video, have a great day.